guys, I'm Chris. Welcome to this week's tutorial. Let's draw together. In this week's tutorial, we'll be drawing some cute little toadstools in Procreate, and I'm sure you can create this too if you follow along all the way to the end of the video. If you feel rushed, be sure to hit that pause button or just rewind to catch up and save this video to your library so you can rewatch if you need some extra practice. Today, we'll be using all free brushes found in Procreate. And don't forget, once you finish this entire video, share it on Instagram and tag me in the image as well as the description so I can find your artwork and feature you here in the next Draw Together video. And I've made you a free color palette as usual, just in case you'd like to use the exact same colors I'll be using during this video. And you can just tap on the link in the description below where you can download and install it into Procreate. Also below, you'll find a link to the goodie bag where you can grab some free goodies I'd love to give to you and support me by visiting my shop. Let's jump in by setting up our canvas at 4,000 by 4,000 pixels, 300 DPI and sRGB. And I'm gonna start by just grabbing my 6B pencil. It's in your sketching section, 100 opacity, and let's see, that's probably good. It's at about 40. And let's just start by getting some shapes as usual. So our first little guy is gonna be sort of wide and squat. <laughs> so we're gonna start with sort of a, a shape like that. And then there's going to be sort of a triangle type shape here and then another triangle below so already we have something that looks a little bit like vaguely familiar <laughs> like a mushroom so i'm going to want to see a little bit under the cap so i'm going to start creating that there and this is going to be a little irregular not exactly just completely round at the top. And maybe this is gonna be like that. Okay, and so then the underneath part we know will be here. And then this is of course gonna be coming across this line so we can erase this if we wanna see. And this will be coming like this. I'm gonna make this a little bit shorter actually something like that. And then the stalk will be about like that. So that's pretty good. Maybe we'll make this even a little bit more unusual here. I like to scribble a bit. Just make it not so quite the dip, not perfectly in the center maybe. All right. Something like that. Okay, so that's pretty good. Pretty good idea of what we want. Maybe this wants to be a little bit rounder. I think that's good. Okay, so that's our first little guy. And then our second one, actually I'm just gonna use my arrow just to move him over a touch and we'll just maybe shrink him down a little bit. And then I'm just gonna draw the next one just so we have our everything on in one sketch layer. So next I'm gonna draw my other little one and he's gonna be, I don't know, kind of the ones with those sort of funny shaped hats like this. <laughs> and like this, a little scoop. And he'll have quite a curved stalk or stem or whatever there. <laughs> I'm gonna just grab my little selector tool and highlight this and just move this guy over a little bit. Actually, while I'm doing that, I'm gonna grab my selector again and just grab this top here, use my arrow and just, I'm gonna make him a little bit more on an angle. A little bit more attitude. All right, and then the other guy is gonna come like that, quite curved. And we're gonna see the underside of the mushroom here. So it's gonna be like a circle. So just sort of loosely draw an oval. And then you'll see kind of the top of the cap there. So that's gonna be the underside. You can kind of get the idea there. Okay, and then we'll just do some grasses there, some grasses there. Okay, so that's just our sketch. I'm gonna move them around a little bit, but um, why don't we do that now actually? So. You can just select this guy and we'll just size him down a little bit, move him over here. 
and then grab our selector tool again, grab this, the arrow, size them down, maybe so we can fit, fit them on the same plane. Okay, good, that should be fine. Okay, so next, why don't we turn down that sketch layer to about 23, 25%, somewhere in there and create a new layer by hitting the plus sign. And then I'm gonna go and grab just this darker brown color at the end. And then one of my favorites, as you know, go into inking and grab that dry ink brush. So we're gonna have this at, let's say about 5% and go in and make our final line work. So I'm also gonna add some little bumps to this guy. So I'm gonna do that while I do my good lines here. So I'm just gonna go in and do my line work and then I'm gonna go over top and add some details in a bit. So we're just gonna go and keep it fairly sketchy looking as usual. Just sort of the look we're going for, the handmade sort of rough paper look. Keep it squiggly, just different pressures with your pen. So I didn't like how I did that. Okay, not joining them up very nicely. That's better. Okay, and the underside is gonna be quite a bit wigglier. If I can get in there, give some little nubbly bits. Making sure these lines match up. Actually, before I do this lower part, I'm gonna just do some grass. So just so it has something sort of to sit in. So just some, you know, little wiggly bits and then some actual bigger grass. And you can just come over here and maybe they cross like that. Yeah, you know, what, whatever, it's up to you with this part. You can have fun with it. Maybe there's just some little rocks in there or something like that. You never know. Little bits. Okay, so now we can do our line over here. So it's growing into the grass. I don't want those lines to cross like that. All right, good. So you can see, we turn off our sketch layer. We've got a funny little mushroom. And next we'll go, might as well keep this on our line layer. We'll do this guy. And I'm just gonna bring this, this lip up a little bit. Kind of give it a little thickness. So again, I'll do the grass. Same thing. Little bits. Perfect. Okay, so that helps us bring this line in here. Good. All right, so for this guy, we want to round that out. Okay. 
Okay. And then he's gonna have kind of two layers. So let's, here, I'll show you. So you come around the top. I'm just gonna be lighter around there. Just kind of the illusion of that lip there. And then on the inside, there's gonna be sort of this, oh, I don't know, the fleshier bit of the mushroom. Okay, and then the cap will be like that. Okay, so we can turn off our layer now, our sketching layer. So let's go and do a few details. And while we're here looking at this guy, some details will be making this fleshy bit kind of make sense because right now this looks like it's floating and that's not very good. So we're going to kind of scoop, kind of like eyelashes actually, kind of a line like that. And they don't have to be perfect. You want like a few little ones, you know, keep it sketchy. A few can come in from the top. Just keep it light. Push harder in a few areas. Just kind of give it that textury sort of look. And it makes sense of how, how the folds of the meat part of the mushroom go. Kind of skim your skim your pencil along a little bit. Okay, so that makes a bit more sense, right? Okay, good. And with this color, we can do the little spots that are going to be on here. They'll have their little. Oops, I made those a little bit too symmetrical for my taste little sets. Maybe he'll have one down here. And of course they don't have to be perfect circles, just make them kind of irregular. Okay. I'm just going to draw sort of a little bit of an extra line here. Bring it a little bit more of that look, okay, like that, sort of giving a few shadow lines sort of here because our shadow's going to be on our right side. So maybe just a few. Okay, so that's good for those guys. This guy I'm going to work with this color on the inside and then I'm going to do some detail with a different color on the top. So let's just maybe pull a few a few lines in there. And do the same thing on the bottom. Stuff. And I'm gonna do a little inner line again in here. Not a perfect line, kind of spaced out, dotty, sketchy. Okay, and then doing some of these lines just like we did in the other one. Create that look and just slowly sort of bring it out, rounding it out. Sometimes I like to make them further, you know, the whole thing and then go back and fill it in just so I have them all sort of in the right shape and curve. So kind of just kind of mapping out just how it would, would and should go. Okay, so that's probably all right for that guy. Okay, and then I'm gonna go and grab, um, actually I'm gonna do a new layer, and just grab this orange color, and I'm gonna make these funny little nubbly bits all over the top here, just, they're not gonna be flat to it, they're gonna have a little raised effect, so that's why I'm gonna go over top. 
So they're gonna come up and over the line. They're gonna be sitting above it. So these are just gonna be totally irregular and just all over the place. Okay, that's probably enough, maybe. Do a couple more. All right. Okay, so let's next color those dots in just while we're here. I'm gonna go into the layer below and select a new layer and grab that sort of yellowy, beigey color right beside that orange. And I'm gonna go and grab the studio pen just because it's solid and fill those in right now. I got them all. Okay, then next we're gonna go underneath again. Um, actually, click on your old sketch layer and add a new layer there. So what I'm gonna do is actually fill in all my shapes with a solid fill so that then I can go over with clipping masks and paint it without worrying about going over the edges. Because when you're making clip art, you want everything to be nice and tidy and not, well, I mean, unless it's a specific look, but not be have messy edges. So I'm gonna do that next and I'm going to just select this sort of pinky, pinky color and grab the studio pen still. Oh, and the studio pen was just on 18. Sorry, I probably didn't mention that. And just fill this top cap in. Okay, next I'm going to go below that. So again, hit on layer one, add a new layer. And I'm gonna use this light beige color. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do is turn off my background layer so you can see this, otherwise it might be a little bit light. So let's go ahead and just get this, the lower part of the mushroom done. Okay, I'm just gonna, actually I'm just gonna drag it across and fill it. That's fine. And then I'm gonna just put a layer on top of that and fill it in as well so that each piece is on a separate layer. That way it'll make it easier for my clipping masks to work and just stay in the areas that we need them to. Well, this we can just go straight across because we'll put our grass over top. Okay, and then while we're here, might as well do the grass. So add a new layer and grab this green 
and we can just fill this in. Okay, so with that, let's just grab the dry ink and pop that up to, I don't know, 28%. Kind of come in here and just, just to fade it out, just because this has a nice scratchy edge. We can kind of do that and that just allows us not to have that hard, hard edge. Maybe we'll go around our little rocks and, and color those in a bit. Actually, I'll just do that. There, you can have a kind of a regular. Perfect. Okay, and while we're here, let's just go back to the studio pen and fill in this grass. Most of the time while I'm doing clip art, I would have these two separate mushrooms on as two separate projects but for these purposes just for showing you different different types of little toadstools we'll just have it on one okay so then i'm going to just go grab that dry ink again and just get that in there perfect okay so we can go to um the layer below layer seven the one that has that um the stock on that side and um, back to Studio Pen, and mm, let's see. Maybe I'll make these. You know what? I'm gonna stick actually stick with the lighter um, beige for now, and I'm gonna I'll warm them up later. So again, we are at 20%, 100% opacity, and let's just fill these guys in. You can do the whole thing on one layer. Okay, this one I'm not gonna do the fleshy part, that one I'm gonna do on a separate layer. So I'm just gonna do the edge here. Okay, and then back to this layer, this part, the underneath part, layer six. And let's just fill this guy in here. Okay. So now I'm just gonna turn back on my background color. Have a look, see what's going on. Great. Okay, so what I'm gonna do next is create a clipping mask and we're gonna do that on here. Okay, so I'm gonna select the number five, the red top, and I'm gonna hit the plus sign click on it and hit clipping mask. Okay, so this way our paint won't go outside of this shape. All right, so let's go and pick this darker red here. And I'm gonna go and pick a different brush and I'm going to go to artistic and select the hearts. And it's gonna be at about 55%, at about 30% uh, um, for size. We're just gonna lightly just sort of get some get some little gritty, some shadows here. So darker on this side, again, our, our most of our shadows are gonna be on the, the right and a little underneath. Just kind of, maybe not too much over there. Just trying to give it a little bit of texture. You can maybe tap your pen a little bit. See what happens, we get a little, little flaky bits, dry bits of paint kind of. Okay, so that's good. And then I'm gonna go to this sort of warmer brownie color, kind of 
same thing actually let's pop this up to about 65 and lower the opacity to about 30 just give it a little light a light bit here it's just sort of grungy okay and then I'm going to add another layer and also add that as a clipping mask and bring in this light pink here. So I'm gonna go and grab my gouache. It's gonna be in painting right above. Let's just find it here. There we are. Good old gouache. Let's bring it down to about, I don't know, I know it's not gonna show up there. 15%, um, maybe, maybe 6%, that would probably be better. Just wanna make sure that I have a little bit of the light. You know what? Um, this needs to be lighter. So I'm going to give you that. I'm going to make it a touch warmer too. Okay. Let's try that. Just give it a little highlight. Somewhere in there. Okay. I'm going to add that color for you. Okay. And then um, let's finish off this guy before we move on to the next one. I'm going to go to this layer, the layer with uh, the underneath part, add the plus sign, click on it, hit clipping mask, and then I'm going to get this warmy brown color. Actually, let's start with this one, the one beside it, a little bit darker um, beige. And we can stay on gouache, we can bring it up to about 30%, just Maybe that's a little hard. Just slightly get in there. Do you see how wonderful that is? We can paint and we don't have to worry about anything. Okay, and then grab that warmer brown. Go back to um, artistic. Click on hertz. We'll just keep our settings the same. So that's that. Actually, no, let's bring it up to 30%. We can stay at around 40% opacity. And just more in the center, I'm going to concentrate on. Just kind of warming up, texturizing that a little bit near the center. Okay, so that's probably good for that part. And then here, the stalk, the stem, whatever you want to call it, we're going to add another layer. You guessed it, clipping mask. Um, yeah, let's stay on this warm brown. Back to gouache. Gouache will be at about 28%. And just start to give this a little, little layers, a little color, a little love. Okay, that looks good. All right, and then let's just. Uh, Let's get the grass while we're here too. I'm gonna to click on the grass, hit the plus, do clipping mask. I kind of like this hearts brush, so let's grab the darker green, go back to the hearts, and just kind of give it a little, see we're gonna give it some texture here. There we go, beauty. Let's do this here while we're at it. Great, okay, I think that's good. So let's move on to these guys. And we'll go back to this layer, layer seven, and we can remain on this clipping mask we already created. And I'm going to use this, oh gosh, medium beige, <laughs> warmer medium beige, back to painting, back to gouache, carry on with the, what are we at, 30%. Give it a little bit of that, maybe bring it down to 10 just to get underneath here. Okay, that's good. And then um, back to the layer six or the underneath parts, we can hit on that clipping mask. Stick with this color and this brush, color this in quite a bit darker. Grab that, um, yeah, the, this one, the one beside the darker beige, and to artistic hearts, 
especially throughout the center where are we at uh, let's bring it down to 20% and about four, 50% opacity just kind of get in there get it a few dabs there good stuff okay and then we need to do our little dots so let's just go up to layer 10. So I'm behind my line layer, adding another layer there. So let's grab this light color here and add a new layer. I'm gonna be on top of layer 10, right below our line layer, and just fill these. Actually, you know what, that's not light enough. So let's just change that. Let's test it out. I think so, maybe even just the hair type lighter. Okay, I'm going to add this for you too. So the lightest light, that's better. I want it to show up. All right. And there we have a couple of cute toadstools. So I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial and if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you can be notified of new tutorials just like this one in the future. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I hope to see you in the next one.